Well, welcome to the introduction to our PowerPoint presentations. And the very first one is going to be on the Bistro Organization site. We already talked a little bit about that. And you're going to learn a little bit about uh, files, how they're organized, uh, creating a site, and moving files, and a little bit about organization. So the very first thing is you want to look up how to set up the site. You'll see a video exactly how to do that. And then here is your organization. So you can notice that you have files. They're organized just exactly the way File Explorer is on your PC, where you can have folders, you can have files inside the folders, and of course you can have folders inside the folders. The concept is to organize them so it's easier for you to find everything. So again, you see you have images, and you're going to put the images into an image folder. And then you have all kinds of general preferences that allow you to modify your experience, what is the easiest way for you. You also have the insert panel, which is not only on the top, but it's on the right hand side where it allows you to access many of the items right at your fingertips. Then it's going to show you how to create links and there's several different ways to create links such as the drag and drop point to file and browse. Then you have the link options. Very important to understand that in the target, make sure anytime that you go off of your site to use blank for the target, which you'll see inside the files in here. And then in your root directory, the only thing you really should have is index. In this folder, you're gonna have index about events However, in later ones, you're going to have only the index file. Then there's text links, emails, and external links. Remember, with the external link, you need to make sure that you always have a target blank. Email links are identical, except that it has the mail to and then the email address. And then you're going to see the difference between code and live and split. And you can see that you can have your code already selected just by clicking on a specific tag down at the bottom. You're going to be able to uplink, update links and give them names. You're going to learn about the illegal characters and the proper way to capitalize. We in this course are going to use all lowercase for everything. And then you're going to see page titles, which are descriptors. Find in place is a very easy way for you to select something that you would like to replace and not only replace it in the file you're in but all of the files that you like cloaking is very important because you might not always want to upload huge files such as pdf files and your psd files for photoshop and your flash files you're going to set up a site definition so that you can upload your files see you how to upload them and synchronize them and very important is to export a site definition especially if you're connected to a site. That way, if you move to another computer, you can just import that site and then you have everything for you. And that's it. Hope you enjoy your site and I hope that you enjoy the lesson. Have a wonderful day.